Hi everybody, it's Greg from the Octave Music Center. Today we're looking at another Avenir guitar. Uh, this one is an absolute beaut. It's one of the uh, early first models, so it still has the SGI logo on the headstock. The newer ones will have that really classy Avenir logo with walnut and pearl. But other than that, it'll be identical to this model. Now this one is like a mix between uh, what we saw in the Vintage 00 and what we saw in the ACEWFF. Whereas you get your beveled armrest and your sound port uh, like you do on the ACEW, you also get traditional frets and a more familiar vintage size body. Uh, where the vintage was a double O, which is like that middle ground between a parlor and a concert, this is a concert body. Uh, still not a grand auditorium, so still not that modern, uh, big bouted, big boomy uh, auditorium sound. However, with a few of the specifications that are on this body, you still get that big sound, even out of the concert size. So to start, uh, you have the cedar top rather than uh, Engelmann spruce or Sitka spruce, so a bit of a different feel for that. It's paired beautifully with solid wenge back and sides, a 50% nitrocellulose matte finish so very comfy very smooth to the touch uh, it rings out brilliantly just an incredible build uh, and yes you do get that wonderful reverse kerfing on the inside so that is what's helping this smaller concert body sound as big as it does uh, that Reverse kerfing gives you more rigidity in your sides, which then leads into less perpendicular acoustic resonance, interfering with your primary resonance of your top and your back. Uh, beautiful guitar, that reverse kerfing, I, I am all about it. Uh, every guitar that I play that has reverse kerfing has so much body and so much tone, and this one included, and I can't wait to do a review on the new bridge ports that are coming in. Those are gonna be awesome. So back to uh, this model here, it's got the same uh, one millimeter maple purfling with black walnut binding, a black walnut rosette, and a uh, beautiful black walnut back strip. So it's still got those nice uh, all wood bindings and purflings so there's no plastic in there that's hindering the vibration of the wood. Our bridge is a beautiful kind of modern belly uh, ebony with matching ebony bridge pins. You know me by now. I love me a good set of bridge pins. They make all the difference in the world. So having ebony on ebony gives me all that uniformity for where my strings are mounted. And then the brake angle coming off of this beautiful fully compensated polished bone saddle is miraculous. That's where you get all your punch and all your sustain from. Um, leading into the neck their fingerboard is ebony to match the bridge. Uh, the neck itself is Kaya mahogany with uh, carbon fiber reinforcement rods and a beautiful stain job. The tuners are those nice black chrome mini button grovers as well as that heel style volute for extra stability. The scale length is 25 and a half with a 14th fret dovetail joint. The headstock overlay is also ebony with a nice gloss uh, finish to it. The binding on the neck is the same as the body. It's beautiful black walnut, which gives you that uniformity with power inlays on the sides, so a bit of class. Uh, just a beautiful guitar all around. It really fits very comfortably no matter where you're playing, if you're standing up, if you're sitting, if you're slouched back on the couch. Uh, the smaller concert body mixed with the beveled armrest is just a joy. Very comfortable, very easy to play. Uh, for the saddle and nut, we have polished bone. As I mentioned, the saddle is fully compensated, uh, and the nut is a 45 millimeter. So it's that perfect golden size where you can play finger style very comfortably. You can get your fingers in between the strings very easily here on the body. But then the string spacing up by the nut isn't too big where it makes cording hard. It's actually very perfectly balanced between being a chord playing guitar and being a finger style guitar. 
so yeah, the similarities between uh, the Avenir 20 ACEWFF are apparent with the beveled edge and the sound hole uh, and the Wenge back and sides. But it's also similar to the Vintage 00 in where we get a more uh, retro body shape, which is that concert or that triple O, whatever you prefer to call it, OM, um, as well as the traditional frets. They're not fanned. So a great mix between the two. Wonderful guitar in its own right. That cedar top really sparkles in, in conjunction with the Wenge body. And of course, the reverse kerfing, as I mentioned again, giving the guitar all that projection and tone. So just a phenomenal instrument. I can't wait to play it for you. And with that, it's time for the catchphrase. Without further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Let's play some guitar. have it the Avenir 20 CC CW probably the coolest kind of hybrid between strumming and finger style that we have it gives you all the cool fixings of the boutique uh, Avenir finger style guitars like the beveled edge and the sound port uh, and the Florentine cutaway but it gives you that feeling of familiarity with the traditional frets and the concert size body so a great guitar, whether you're a finger stylist, a chord strummer, or, or you do both. And uh, yeah, just another great piece of the Avenir family, and I'm happy to play it. If you like what you saw, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I've been Greg from the Octave Music Center. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.